What's up everybody, this is Fishers of Men. I did not expect to be doing another video tonight, uh, but I figured I should probably talk about this. Also, I am sorry if there is any background noise in this video. Um, there's some background noise and I'm thinking it might show up, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, so, Rotten Tomatoes President has said that they didn't change the site to protect Captain Marvel. That this is an article on CNET by Gail Fashingbauer Cooper. And she has had an interview with the president of Fandango and Rotten Tomatoes. And that president has said that they didn't change the site to protect any movie, including Captain Marvel. Uh, so, review site Rotten Tomatoes is instituting some changes, leading many to believe it's responding to the recent controversy over the site's Captain Marvel page. But Paul Yanover, president of Fandango, which owns the site, told CNET that that's not the whole story. In case you were snapped away by Thanos in Infinity War, and thus missed the recent controversy, here's a recap. Captain Marvel doesn't come out until March 8th, but users were already leaving negative comments about the film on Rotten Tomatoes, a process dubbed review bombing. Many recent comments seem to come from those who are angry at star Brie Larson. And here's, here's where the actual interview part comes in, and it's only this one little paragraph, and it's kind of disappointing, especially if they had a whole interview with this guy, and then this is all they got, but we'll see. The changes are not simply a reaction to, oh gee, there's some noise created around certain movies, Yanover told me. Yes, some adjustments are aimed at what he calls noise reduction, when high-profile films such as Captain Marvel or Star Wars movies attract trolls with agendas. But as a whole, these changes are part of the long-term site strategy, he said. And then the rest of it's about Brie Larson talking about uh, white men and everything. So this is the part I want to focus on. This is going to be a real quick video because there's obviously not much here. Um... So, the president of Rotten Tomatoes has said that it's not just a reaction to, oh gee, there's noise around Captain Marvel. I don't know if I believe him, honestly. That's about the exact same that, that Netflix said when they changed from their 5-star rating to their thumbs-up, thumbs-down rating system uh, after Amy Schumer's stand-up special. And I didn't believe Netflix then, and it's, it's tough for me to believe Rotten Tomatoes now. Um, and, and obviously he does say that some, some adjustments are aimed at what he calls noise reduction. Now maybe it's not specifically to protect Captain Marvel or Star Wars, but still, the fact that you want to quote-unquote reduce noise and, and, you know, limit what people, you know, the opinions that people can offer on your site is, is, is kind of a, is, it's a tough blow for, for people that that's their only way to speak out about this, right? Their only way to show that they're not interested in the in the feminism in the movie or the things that Brie Larson has said is to say, nah, I'm not interested in the movie. That's their only way of doing it right now. Their only way of doing it is to comment on Rotten Tomatoes and to click that not interested button. That's it. And that's all they were doing. And I, I really don't understand. Like, obviously, if you go to the site and you see that, you know the movie's not out. You know that they're not critic reviews. You know that they're just saying stuff. Like, you don't have to read what they're saying. You can look at the percentage and go, wow, not a lot of people care about this movie. But, you know, other than that, you know, you could be like, you could go to that site and say, yeah, I'll still go see it. I don't care. I'll still go see it. So I don't, I don't, I just don't understand the changes that they've made. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. It seems like a bad business move. It, it's very, very, very poorly timed. Like, the same week that all these YouTubers are making videos about how low the Captain Marvel's Want to See score is. The same week, you're like, yeah, we're going to roll out these changes. Like, this this is the kind of thing where you at least wait until after Captain Marvel comes out, right? Like, you you wait two weeks, and then you roll out that change. And if, if, if Captain Marvel's audience score bombs, you know, and you were going to change the audience score rating system somehow, you don't change that the week that Captain Marvel comes out. And watch like the audience score change. So, and they haven't done that. But I mean, with the timing of this, it wouldn't surprise me if they timed it the same way for that too. We'll we'll just have to see what happens. We'll have to play it by ear. Um, this is obviously the first thing that we've heard from the actual president of Rotten Tomatoes. The Rotten Tomatoes said some other stuff too in another video that I've I've also talked about. But this is the first thing we've heard from somebody higher up that's a specific quote that's talking about kind of why they're doing it and i just i don't know if i believe him uh you know and i, I hate to assume dishonesty on anybody's part but just the timing is so suspicious it's it's 
It's just a poor choice. It's a poor business decision. And obviously they're going to get a lot of flack for this. And you know what? That's not entirely true, though. A lot of news sites are talking about how great this is, that it's it's taking down the trolls down a peg. So, you know, I guess whatever, whatever works, you know, the, our side is going to see this as something awful. The other side is going to see it as something great. And then when they say, oh, no, it's not to do that, then I, I, that's going to calm everybody down, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But this is all I've got for tonight. Um, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you didn't like it, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Maybe you'll like them more. I do recommend my very first video that I made. It's an Avengers Infinity War, Last Jedi, Empire Strikes Back kind of comparison. Um, that's my favorite video that I've made. And I want to make more videos like that. But in the meantime, I'm kind of stuck doing news article things as I script and edit and things like that because I'm by no means a great editor or a great writer and so I want to I want to release more content but I want it to be actually something that's worth talking about and something that is okay to listen to so thanks for watching I appreciate it again I am Fishers of Men let me know in the comments what you think about what the president of Rotten Tomatoes has said if you believe him or not um, and I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching